Hey guys, welcome back to ESL TV for the ESL 1 Battlefield 4 cut number 2 in the fall season. Obviously you can tell I'm not alone here. Um, usually this man is uh, not next to me because he was never in Germany before. It's Alex who's actually joined us here at ESL TV now as a full-time caster. That's me. And he'll be joining me today and tomorrow. And then of course, taking over the reins, doing the show himself next week for cut number 3, which is going to be... Uh, a terrible show. It's going to be yeah. pretty much mm -hmm. wrong buttons hit everywhere, um, and I'll be behind the camera laughing my butt off. But welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for the the warm, warm welcome. It, but, I try. Uh, I try to be. You know what? This cord is just not working behind me. So okay. Bring it in front. In front. Yeah. Just, just put it all out there. So, yep. Like I said, I'm a new face ESL. I'm really excited to be doing some Battlefield. Like Jason said, I'm going to be running solo next week. So I hope <laughs> you guys. So good. I hope you it's guys gonna are going to have a little bit of patience with me as I kind of, you know, learn the ropes. But uh, regardless, we should probably start talking about what we're about to be getting involved in. We've got uh, quite a fun couple of games coming up. The first one, it's something we're not really too familiar with, Berserk. This is a team that I, I personally haven't come across before. <laughs> I you, don't even know their yeah. flag, technically. <laughs> I, I don't know I their don't flag. Know. Let's, let's just show you the screen really quickly, just so you have an idea of what we're looking at. I do not know what flag that is. So that's Zimbabwe? South Africa? Zimbabwe? Yeah. Is that Zimbabwe? Yeah, I'll say so. I am impressed if I actually guessed that correctly. But regardless, as colors. you can see in the bracket, you can see just up there, look <laughs> at Fnatic's path. We can see oh, Fnatic there. there. So Fnatic, the, the first real challenge they're possibly going to meet is probably, uh, I don't really know. It's probably going to be meet your makers. That's what we're going to see in the quarterfinals. Maybe there. Maybe there. So <laughs> Fnatic, they're going to be, obviously we have to consider they did not drop a game last cup. This, however, is not the case in this one already. They had a perfect record. However, in the... Uh, already in Cup 1, they got knocked out uh, in the semis, I believe. Yeah, they lost to uh, Epson in that one. And Epson was the team that, uh, well, was the only team that really struggled against, well, it wasn't, actually, it wasn't the only team, but the team who really struggled against Fnatic, losing quite a few times, um, losing over and over again, actually, um, to them constantly. But as you can see, obviously, quite a few games coming up. Though we're still up in the round of 32, so we have to do a best of three through here. Then we'll be doing a best of three from the round of 16. Not sure what team we'll be going, or what game we'll be going up against, but it most likely will be Dintas or Infamous. And then, of course, we'll work one quarter final as well. And then tomorrow we'll have two semifinals and the grand finals for you. So as you can tell, it's kind of going to be a busy couple of days. And as you can tell by our voices, we're both still a little bit sick. Yeah, it's so, just something um, going around in the ESL offices. It had to do with, I think, for me, uh, last Wednesday, actually, when I was casting, and I just died. I like If people were watching that, they heard me, and they just <laughs> knew I was gone. I just could not do anything um, in that show. But either way, I believe we're getting underway in just a few seconds, so I'm going to drop us into game on your screen, because you know what? I don't have to do any spectating today. I get to sit back, I get to relax, and I get to laugh as uh, I you do a fantastic job in this one. Um, let's see. We get a little bit of game sounds in there. I think the music needs to be turned off, though. If it's on, is it on? In-game music? I think I heard a little kind of hmm. chime. But you should use that PC to spectate, that's why. Yeah, we've got a lot of things to change. But obviously, first map was Berserk's choice. The uh, the team who we don't, don't, don't necessarily know any of the players' names or even their flag, as Jason uh, pointed out. But we are going to be going into <laughs> their first map, which they've chosen as Langkang Dam. A map, actually, we didn't see too much of. All right. Well, yeah, Linking Games, one of those maps has kind of come around, at least as we saw um, in the first cup, saw it quite a few times, actually. Didn't see any Zavod, funny enough, which is one of the most played maps back in the winter and spring season. But either way, let's go to lunch for you guys at home who might not be familiar with either of these teams. On the side of Infuse, we have Phantom, Yola Pastafarian, Uncle Hadouken, and Lexi. On the side of Berserk, we have Godlike Ebb, Yepsi. <laughs> these are going to be fun. <laughs> Deltanti, Runek, and Noob. Yeah, this, oh, Del Tanti is actually like, uh, okay, it's like their team or their... Okay, so it's Yepsi. So that's like MDT, a sponsor, yeah. Runek. Uh, th this is the thing. If you have a hard name and you're the commentator, you get to choose exactly what the name is. But either way, let's kick this one off. We're going to have over on the Russian side, it will be Infuse. Over on the Chinese side, it will be Berserk. And obviously, Light King Dan, one of those maps that can be very, very snowball very quickly. And we already do have, looks like, a three, potentially four-man rush over towards the B flag out of Berserk. But then again, we have new watching Oof. corridors. We already have a couple of frags coming on the side of Infused over towards the building, or B building. And Infused looks like they're going to get the early two to one here. Yeah, blood has been shed on that B site already. Infused coming out on top of that one. We can see no one's actually starting to proceed to capture the B flag. B flag's still lying pretty neutral, and that's going to be because of those spawns. Infused forced to the outside. And uh, we see four players from Infused charging towards C now. We'll see whether or not Berserk are going to try and fight this or simply rotate to that unclaimed B site. Look at the right. hit fire, Dukan. Doesn't need to aim in. Crosshairs are for losers, despite being updated in this most recent patch. So I was just checking. Apparently there are some audio issues going on. So that's fantastic. So actually, you know what? 
after we get into the half, I'll restart the stream and everything will be fixed. So I'll just stick with that with us for just one half here, guys. A little unfortunate, but either way, hopefully things should be fixed. But as you're saying, some great hit fire actually coming in, some great kills. Apparently they are South African, so we were right. I don't know if it's still Zimbabwe though. But MDT currently at three and one sitting there pretty. And they are going for a little bit of a push on B here. So we actually see so C and B being claimed by Infused, and the, the site that they started with has been reclaimed now by BZK. BZK charging in towards this site, kind of led by Ru Runek. We're going to go for Runek Red Bull. Let's go for Runek. Uh, he is going to be claiming this flag for his team. Actually, no, he's not under some serious heavily fire, trying to play for the regen, and I think he's just going to about get it. No, he's not. Does it get taken down by Ankle? Uh, and does, actually, it's kind of a bit tit for tat on this B flag, trying to be captured, trying to go into BZK hands, but. The bodies litter the battlefield, and no one has claimed B yet. Of course, it's kind of hard to take that site, at least that flag, when you do have a, uh, a good foothold into it, just kind of like on Zavod, if you think of any of those uh, flags, particularly C. Either way, you can see they're starting to push it back in. Unfortunately, Berserk not having the best of luck here. And of course, this is after the, uh, the latest update, guys. This is after the biggest patch, that we had, well, not the biggest patch, but a huge patch that we had happen actually today. So. I'll see a lot of new things coming to light here. A lot of new things going to be tweaked around, and maybe we'll start to see a couple of new guns actually being used here. But either way, B is actually being turned over to Berserk. It looks like they have cleaned up everyone inside that flag. In the meantime, though, the random respawns coming in towards A flag on the side of Infuse. Looks like they might go for hit there in just a few moments here as B has been capitalized on. Yeah, and look at this cheeky Yolo Pastafarian has been trying to make his way up the ladder as, as silent as he possibly can. Puts the bullets in, does manage to take down MDT and looking for a second as well. They have absolutely no idea. BZK get completely wiped out on that site and one man's mission as he slowly climbed the ladder has brought the A site uh, across to the infused side. So right now we see an AC hold. It's not ideal and we know exactly how difficult it can be to hold, especially when BZK are throwing so many numbers. Yolo Pastafarian with a, se two, a, a second double is what I was trying to say as uh, he brings up the kills for this life to four. Hmm. Just something I do want to point out for you guys is that Ping is going to be really interesting in this match considering uh, Berserk's side they have an average of, Whoa. let's just say, 170. So uh, we've already seen a little bit of ping issues for them, actually, as you see them shooting away. Gosh. But they're up against uh, 30s and, and 20s and 170s. So it's going to be a very tough game for them. Obviously, uh, if they are actually playing from South Africa, you can you can kind of tell why. Just the distance they have to travel to get to here, uh, at least via internet. But either oh, way. I mean, for, for, for 200 ping, 180 ping, they're not doing too bad. 20 ticket deficits so far, managing to thwart off that triple cap by bringing back A, but they're looking to set their sights on towards that B flag, but some seriously strong defending from Infused is making that difficult. Yolo Pastafarian, the man who shone so very, very bright <laughs> on that A flag. I just like saying his name. It is such a fun name. It rolls mm. off the tongue. And Makes uh, me hungry too. Oh, Pasta. Mmm. Look at this, Ace-23 yet again. He just does such swift work with it. Does finally go down to the AEK of Runek, but still that ticket deficit is con remaining pretty constant. Yeah, this is going to be a very tough match, I think, for Berserk to win. Just for the fact that it's a very snowballing map, and the fact that you're playing with a lot of ping doesn't make things uh, that easy for you. As you can see on the kill score, you know, 5-7 to seven for Yepsi, what, 6-6 six and six for Runic, 9-4 and four actually for MDT, the man who uh, currently is sending at 194 ping, Ooh. one of the lowest on his team. Yep. But still going to be very tough, and as you can tell, it's uh, definitely not going to be an easy one. But then again, I don't know, I feel like, I don't feel like they're playing bad. I feel like Infused just aren't playing like the Infused we've, we've known in the past. Oh, well, I don't know. Lexi seems pretty on form. Didn't miss a bullet there heading towards Runek. And this is this is a position we see a lot of players adapt. Lexi able to play for the regen, keep that health kit nearby, and he can just lie and wait. And see that he's got vision on A, can get the spot on towards the A site, as well as remaining pressure on towards that B flag. And this, Lexi is doing so very well. Not going to successfully take him down just yet, though, but that's some suppressing fire. And in the meantime, his team have got a real strong foothold on this B flag. Three players from Infused all dancing around that main B uh, area and the only person who's really going to try and question it and waiting for the spawns is going to be godlike. Let's have a look what he can do for the BZK side. Well, he won't get anything right off the bat, but Yepsi will be at least secure one. He's taking his time. He's trying to go around very wide here. That's actually a spot one man going off to his Ooh. left. But again, as you can see, is ping, ping? alone yeah, is just very say. difficult Reaction for him to hit a shot. And, uh, well, oh. I don't think he's going to really accomplish too much here because the rest of his team who did push in, the two men got taken down and there's going to be a wipe coming in. All three men over at that B flag were completely decimated. Now MDT is the last man saying over towards A flag. was a phantom starting to push in towards it as well. And I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure we're going to see about a 100 ticket lead for Infused here at the end of this first half. There's really, it's just really too hard to come back from.
All right, guys, we are back. Hopefully that has fixed all the problems for us. We'll have we to be paying attention to uh, chat when we do have time. We're back underway here, obviously, after the end of the first half here, um, with Infuse taking a 107 ticket lead on the King Dam. Of course, it's only the first map in the best of three, so we will be seeing at least one more map after this. If, uh, well, obviously, if Infuse do secure this one, which, honestly, I find it really hard for them to uh, not be able to at this point. Oh. Considering they have uh, Uncle at 5-1 and one right now, and remember, 107 with only 30 tickets left to work with here in front of Berserk. It's not going to be really, uh, really possible for them to come back from this one, I feel. No, I think you may be uh, hitting the nail on the head that with that. I think just a 100 ticket cushion is just a little bit too tough for Berserk to question. Maybe they should spend this time now as the uh, like 30 or so tickets do trickle away, deciding what are they going to do on that second map. Uh, the second map is going to be Dawnbreaker, and we'll see uh, what they've got their sleeves. Obviously, you have to consider, though, guys, it has to be remembered that the Lankang Dam was Berserk's choice. They decided to play this map, and they've gone first half losing 170 ticket deficit. 107, sorry. 170, that'd be... That would be, I mean, yeah, but 107 tickets is regardless still pretty on the uh, poor side. So Berserk aren't going to have a mass of confidence right now, especially when Lexi's winning these 1v1s every single time with the ACW. Uh, BZK. Dude, they are picking up the kills. There's no question about it. Like, there are some just kind of slight glints of uh, strong play from them. The MDT was the uh, star of the first half. This time, though, Yepsi has been doing some damage on that B flag. Does secure the B flag. They do have that BC hold, but for how long? We do see him actually get neutralized. There's three infused players swarm on towards that flag. That's it, too. And that is going to be the remaining tickets, the 110. Three tickets to go. And I can't respawn It's in. not really going to happen. You can see them yeah. holding off those respawns there. The 107. One more ticket is the magic number. There it goes. And I mean, that is impressive. Infuse dropping what? 30 something tickets? Mm, you mean total? That was bad maths. I mean, they dropped 13. 13 tickets. Is it, there's, is there's a three in there? That kind of counts? Yeah. Uh, Lauren and I have a, uh, an excellent track record of being bad at math, so <laughs> you'll just join the, join I'll the group just on that one. Hey, that we, we're not here for our math, let's say that. We're here for our, our astonishing good looks and That's it. our deep voices ESL for when we're models. sick. Mm -hmm. I can just hear how nasally I am right now. It's, it's so weird. You know, I, I finally got my sense of taste and smell back yesterday, barely. Oh, I'm really happy for you. So I, I could, you know, smell the food I was eating. And when you're eating pizza, you need that nice, wafty smell of cheese. The wafty smell. Oof. Pepperonis. Salami. Mm. Mm. They're the same thing, aren't they? In the U.S., yeah. In Germany, pepperonis are like peppers. So it's pepperoni salami and, and salami is what I would have. Oh. Mm. So good. But obviously, we're just switching over the map here in just a few seconds. And it looks like the uh, audio is fixed. So no more crackling mics. You're just going to hear our actual voices and how bad they are. Wait, what? Okay. So apparently audio is 100% fixed. Good. Just making sure. And here we go. Going over to the next map on Link... Or not Link Dam, Dawnbreaker. I feel like it's going to be like the same story here. I mean, at least on uh, Link King Dam, you can run around. But on Dawnbreaker, it's a linear map. So it's like, if you run anywhere, you're going to run into the other team. Unless you're running backwards. And you're going to be forced to fight him. And when you have 200 ping, it's a little bit difficult to win out on those. Yeah, well, I mean, you saw the 1v1s. I, you have made a st stunning point there with the 1v1s because every single time I cut to a Berserk player, you just see them either reacting slowly or that there'd be an Infuse player behind them, whether that's just Infuse being stronger than them. Uh, there's a, I'm sure there's an element of that, but primarily I think Berserk are just being... Um, they're struggling. I mean, I can bring up the scoreboard now if we are, if you can see. 288 for Godlike. That is... I that's mean, God -like that's thing. insane. That is insanity. He must be quite literally on the other side of the world. Um, so I don't think I'm really going to see some real snap reflexes from Godlike. Um, who was really sh shining for them? It was actually MDT. He's on 193. So the player with the uh, third lowest ping, <laughs> 194, or third, highest. <laughs> third highest maybe. Um, yeah. So I don't know. Ping is certainly an element, especially when Infuse are sat on 25. But ping aside, I do think Infuse look a lot tighter than BZK. I don't feel like I can judge it at all. No? I don't know. I just I feel like it's just kind of ping when it's that extreme, when it's, what, 180 difference. It's kind of like, well, crap. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like it's very difficult to kind of uh, judge the teams. I mean, I don't know. I think... Wait, why, why is Berserk leaving? I do not know. Um, let me ask them. See, now you're going to get the, uh, the Jason luck when it comes to games. 
um, where you know people leave or disconnect, and then we have to wait like half an hour to get back in game. Well, while we are waiting. Oh, okay. While we are waiting. I didn't get to finish my story. Oh, sorry. It's all right. You go. You no, finish no. your story. Uh, Tell me about Jason Luck. It's kind of over now. I mean, that that's that was a perfect example of Jason Luck getting cut off. You know. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're just like, uh, do, I, do I pat him on the back? I don't know if I need to tell you know, that play the smallest violin in the world for you. That looks pretty big. I don't know. You're moving your hand. I should show everyone what we're seeing. What, cut to camera so I can see the smallest violin in the world I'm playing it now? Like that. I, I didn't cut the camera. You didn't cut the camera. <laughs> I just, you just sat there like you were expected to come, and it just never did. Okay, anyways. Anyways, moving away from small violins, let's jump straight back into talking about Battlefield, because, I mean, that is why we're here. Um, to <laughs> looking at this map, this is Dawnbreaker, a map that we've seen, uh, uh, one of the few maps, I think, where there's a real, there's a varied play style. So a lot of teams tend to go straight in towards this B site, there's bloodshed all over B. However, recently, over at the uh, Summer Finals uh, at Gamescom, we saw this kind of emerging idea where you had this very slow, sneaky player starting on that C flag and just walking as slow as I've ever seen a player walk straight down to A. And by the time that all the numbers have left A, there's that sneaky slow push towards A and they get that AC hold, which uh, was actually working surprisingly well despite those sites being so far away from each other. And on the uh, the Chinese side, we've seen a lot of, let's not contest B, let's just go straight towards the back of A. They Actually, I just, I don't know, yesterday, last week, every team that I saw play sent everyone back to A Yeah. every time. And then they went, worked around the uh, hedges uh, the hedger, I, I'd show you on my screen, but I can't, I can't you can't see it. Um, can, can you show it on, or no? Yeah, yeah, the hedges. So they, they rotate to straight towards the hedge area. Um, and from there, they kind of work right back into B and try to go for the retake, maybe contest a little bit on catwalk in the meantime. Yeah, and oh, we'll there's see. always going to be that player. You know, it's asterisks for the um, with that LMG. It's just this constant, constant pressure over here. You can see on towards C flag, see on towards B flag. And it's uh, a real pain. Ah, uh, real pain. A real pain. I think we might have, nope, still got three players from BZK. Yeah, it's going to be a while. That's why I was kind of wafted about random things before we start talking <laughs> about the game, because it's going to take at least a good five minutes before they come back in. Oh, that's a shame. Um, so now, now I just feel bad if, wait, why, why are you dying? <laughs> You're confusing me. Uh, so apparently they're having wire problems as well. So there actually is a chance oh. we might just cut to a break here, um, because we're going to have probably five to ten minutes, if not more, of waiting. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. It's something we can talk about for like 10 minutes. Let's talk about this. Why don't you talk about... Let's talk about you coming to ESL. Okay, let's do that. So... Why don't you cut the camera so they can see our pretty faces? I need... Do it. Here we come. Drum roll, please. Hey. How you doing? Are you going to tell them the story then? Okay, so... Uh, I am. Pop out a game real quick I so am. Don't hear the I'm the new face. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I really appreciate you uh, tuning into our stream. Um, I've been doing a bit of Battlefield here and there. We did Gamescom together, didn't we? Was that, that was you? Our, that was like our first date was that you? kind of thing. That was where we had our first romantic Battlefield. I thought that was someone else. Just another guy. So yeah, we, that was where uh, me and Jason met. You know, for our first Battlefield date. <laughs> What? Okay, you, just, you go ahead. I'm going to go back to look at my Twitter real quick. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so then I came. Uh, really, I tell you what, it was a fantastic experience doing Gamescom. Um, I don't, I'm sure some of you in chat may have been there or watched the stream, but it, well, that was some high-class <laughs> bat battlefield. We saw Fnatic, obviously, being the reigning, reigning supreme. This time, I think they're going to be a bit challenged. I mean, in the first cup, we saw them go down in the semis. How did we go from talking about how you got to ESL to... Battlefield, like, you're killing me, man. How do we get back to Battlefield? I'm just really good at segways. That's okay. What That's what I was going for. You are on Google didn't Maps. I, didn't I say Zimbabwe was in South Africa? Yes, you did. But I'm getting called out on Twitter saying that it's not South Africa. Zimbabwe is not South Africa. That looks like South Africa. It is Southern Africa. South Africa oh, is... That's, I didn't mean... <laughs> I didn't even know that was a country. Oh, geography lessons at the ESL studio. I didn't know it was a country. Mm. I, th I was you talking didn't about the know southern South part. Africa? No, I thought it was, I was talking about the southern part of Africa. Okay. Okay, where, where's where's Ohio? Uh, that sounds exactly. American. Um, people killing me in this game. Well, I mean, let's see if there's any players in the server quickly. Oh, there's, no. there's still three there. Yeah, this is this is why I kind of wanted to go to a break because I knew it would be this long. Oh well, I mean we can go to a no, break. No, no, let's go. Ahead. So how'd you get to ESL? 
um, talked about games quite a bit, mostly kind of talk quiet about your games. Talk about your history. Okay. Because okay. obviously you've been, you've been around for a while, but actually you've been around a lot longer than I have. Well, yeah, but I mean, I've been kind of do- covering games which don't have the hugest following, more games that I just really enjoy. So I should, Call wow. of Duty 4. I look a lot taller than you. I'll sit up straight. No, 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 it's cool. I put okay. the chair down. Okay. Well, Call of Duty 4 was my, my love child. Played that game for a far too long and got all right at it. And then started covering the LAN events and stuff after I got knocked out by teams that were better than me. <laughs> so, first round? <laughs> Closer to, yeah, <laughs> semis, maybe. Well, if you were with Lauren's team, then definitely was first round. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's the worst Call of Duty player I've ever seen in my life. Mm. That's, uh, I'm sure she's going to slap you. When she's she, not watching. When she hears it's that. okay. That's all, that's all good. But yeah, so I did COD, COD, COD 4. That's the word. That's what it's called. Um, did a lot of that. And then, I, you know, I really only started commentating it because I, f- I found it really funny. You know, you know when you like hear someone for the first time, the first time I ever heard someone commentating video games. And I was like, oh, I could do that. That sounds easy. And then I just started, you know, doing it, doing it myself. And, uh, and here I am now in this lovely studio with this man to my left. Hi. <laughs> Why are you looking at my shirt? I was reading it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your... Never mind. It's T-Rex. They don't have long arms. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> that's really sad. Oh, see, now people are ripping me in chat because they're like... Are they talking about his geography? They're like, oh my God, South Africa is a country. Yeah, that's what I said. South Africa is, it is a country. Not, I, no, it's not... Oh my God. The southern part of Africa is where Zimbabwe is. Yes. Oh my God. People are, people are dumb. You know what? You guys' English sucks and your sarcasm. You don't understand it, okay? Okay. I'm just, you know what? You know what we're going to do? Let's see if anyone's back in. Nope. Why don't we Machine guys... will wreck Jason with arm wrestling. Machine? Well, who just said that? That. Wow. Dense casters. Um. Machine is legend. Tell that to this. If. What? Yeah, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to go a quick break here because obviously it's going to take <laughs> quite a long time for them to fix their problems. Um, we'll be back in hopefully like five, ten minutes, guys. We'll update you obviously via chat when we can, and we'll see you guys in just a few minutes.
Hey guys, welcome back. Looks like uh, all the issues have been fixed and we're we'll beginning live into the game in just a few seconds. I believe uh, two of the players were having some issues, but they have solved them hopefully for now. As I knock on wood. We can um, only hope. Yeah. And I believe the countdown has started. It's going to drop into game here in just a few seconds. So you can see obviously what is going to go down here. Just waiting for you to hit enter and then uh, hit H. One more time. One more time. All right, so now we're dropping you into game Happy. here. Well, because we don't want we don't want people seeing chat and seeing what was said. Oh, that's a good point. Um, especially with all the that profanities man. you used. Um, but either way. <laughs> oh, so I mean, I, it was so long ago. I think we should just quickly uh, give them the lowdown on the first map. Infused absolutely wiped the floor with Berserk. If you guys missed it, I believe 107 tickets in that first half. It. I mean, yeah, well, I, yeah. I kind of closed my eyes for a short period of time, and 50 tickets had bled away. But uh, yeah, 107 tickets your eyes in that first casting? half. Because I'm just that good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, five seconds on that countdown. We'll see exactly what both sides have in store for us. I'm in tr interested to see what Infuse do. I know they, they kind of, especially Hadouken, has this kind of preference to push slowly down this road. He is, of course, going to maybe meet in uh, Yepsi. But right now, though, they are throwing numbers towards that B flag. And we're going to see the same from Berserk. So Bloodshed about to happen on B. Bit of alliteration there. B Bloodshed. We'll see what Lexi's got in store for us. Really kind of shone quite brightly on Lankang Dam. We'll see if he can do the same here. Enkel's actually going to draw first blood, taking down Yepsi, the man who dared to push onto B early. And now absolutely nothing for Lexi. Have a little look at that tabletop. We'll see B and C firmly in infused hands. Yellow Pastafarian picking up a swift double as well. We're going to look at Godlike here, the man with 280 ping. I'll say that one more time in case you guys didn't quite hear me. 280 ping. Uh, here from South Africa. So this is, uh, it's exciting that they're here. It's exciting that we're having this kind of competition. Quite literally uh, international competition right now, but uh, Godlike did miss. I don't think he connected a single bullet there. Maybe his ping is uh, a hindrance as the nade is going to 
bring him down to half health. Hadouken's going to finish the job, and we're going to see those tickets firmly favoring Infused. But for how long is the question? b site has changed hands. For Look at that. Straight away, Hadouken takes down the offender and is going to bring that back under Infused control. Well, it is currently 7-3 in kills. I mean, I would be lying if I didn't expect anything like that. I'm actually, I'm actually not really surprised. I, I, I kind of expect this to be kind of a whitewash for Infused. Again, 200 some plus ping for multiple players is something you can't really play with. I mean, we have Fnatic and well, other teams complaining about Epsilon because one of their players has like 7 ping when they have seven. like 20. Because there's like a 13 difference. Like, oh, it's not fair. He has a 13 ping less. Like, he's, he's we can't kill him. Oh, please. But when there's like over 180 difference, um... Yeah, I don't feel like you should be able I mean, to win on the 1v1s. <laughs> 280 ping, that's the kind of ping you call up your internet provider about. You know, you go, this is not acceptable. These guys are trying to compete on, on an international level uh, battlefield here with some of the best teams in the world. Right now, I don't think that ping is going to do them any favors. Yolo Pasiferian with, I think it's the third double of the game already. Taking down triple double. the triple double. Uh, double sounds double. like some sort of McDonald's meal. I love the uh, triple double. <laughs> Is but, there? Uh, but right, I don't this know. This is like in America then. I don't know. But right, triple double. right now we're seeing 138 to 105. So 30 ticket deficit already. See Enkel just hanging a little back, waiting for these spawns as they're going to charge towards this meeting room, trying to find someone. But at the moment, have a look at that overview. And there is one player to question him. It's going to be MDT. He shone quite brightly before. He's not going to do it now as Phantom is going to be taking him down with the Ace-23. That was really BZK's chance of holding on to A. But right now, the smart move would be going on towards B. But Yepsi has other plans falling <laughs> to his knees. And uh, That was his other plan was to die. Yeah, die. That was it. That was that was see, that's always my backup plan is yeah. just die. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But either way, they're going for a push on A here. If they have two men, and by two, I mean they had three, then they lost one, and well, right now, Uncle is a man to push into this one. As you see, MDT still sitting there waiting for him to actually push through, but they still have control of A, so it's like, we're not in a hurry to get back to the site because we already have it, so you guys need to be the ones to make the move here, and they will finally push up. And MDT walk, kind of walk right to an A here. Actually cast, uh, catch the Pastafari in himself off guard, and they will capitalize on this flag and at least secure it here, but again, there's still one man in the vicinity, Uncle. He's waiting for his moment to shine. And he might just be going for a little bit of a retake here in just a few seconds. So you can see he just kind of... Him. Yeah, he's just buying his time. He's realizing that he's, I'm not in a hurry. We have a big lead. 40 tickets currently. We won the first one with 107. And you don't miss shots like that when the other team doesn't shoot you back. Yeah, I'm just caught with his pants down there on the sprint. We see 122 tickets in favor of Infuse. And they don't look like they're going to give it away anytime soon. Seeing constant, kind of very close to hold squad wipes uh, against the BZK side. Going to look at uh, Pastafarian here as he's going to come charging in, see if he can succeed where uh, Yepsi failed. No, he cannot. It's actually going to be Runex to take him down quickly, though. Neutralized by Phantom. Hadouken on the prowl in that upper corridor. He knows there's going to be a player there. He's actually going to make the move, pushing down. He's going to be shot in his behind by Godlike, the man with close to 300 ping. 120 tickets now. Behind is definitely one of the worst places to be shot in this one. Being killed from the back. It's definitely a little bit unfortunate, you, especially when you're on the side of Infused, where you expect to be able to win out these 1v1s when you have 180 ping less than the other team. Um, Oof. It's kind of just a, a killing spree here for Infused. You can see it's 34 to 23 in kills. It's actually not that big of a difference in kills, funny enough. I'm actually kind of surprised at that, because we've seen, I, I've seen games, you know, from more known or, or better teams uh, who are up against each other that have, you know, like 30, 40 kill difference here at this point in the game. But either way, it's still infused with leading with 117 to, 100, to 61. Going about a 60 ticket advantage here. And well, B's neutralized. And you can see infused just waiting for a couple of respawns coming in before they do make their move. Phantom trying to push him towards hedges. You can see, yep, see, kind of hears them already coming through. This is good. And oh. ping. Yeah, these hip fire. I mean, they are falling for the hip fire quite a lot. And every single time, it just does not go their that. way. I, f I feel for BZK. I feel like these guys do have. The, they, they got the know-how, they got the brains, and they even may, may just have the aim. But right now, the ping is such a hindrance. It's really, it's like playing with everyone in your house downloading at the same time. Oof. Yeah. D downloading what? Downloading anything they want. Mm. You see uh, MDT <laughs> falling to Pastafarian. I wonder if it's penne or tortellini. I don't know. I what hope it's fettuccine. Fettuccine? Mm. I don't think I've ever dabbled in fettuccine. It's. I think it's more of an American uh, pasta. Okay. Like what fettuccine is it? Alfredo. Uh, is it a shape? Is it a pretty shape? It's kind of like tagliatelle. Oh, I love it's tagliatelle. Exact same oh, thing. tagliatelle is Except the one. I think it's just. I don't think it's as wide. Okay. Mm, like chunky, chunky flat spaghetti. I love tag. No, you don't. Use, you don't do it with spaghetti. 
Oh, very Do you nice. Use small noodles noodle. with spaghetti, like. <laughs> Anyways. Pasta aside, let's move on with the game. I'm hungry now. Oh, I wouldn't mind some pasta, actually. If anyone's living in Cologne, feel free. Yeah, but right now, you see Noob just holding steady. This is the only side. It's like the consolation prize BZK have been left with. They're like, yeah, okay, Infuse will just sit there on the outside. Look at Enkel. He doesn't need to move. He's under no pressure to leave his den. Finally taken down 30 bullets later, putting Noob to bed permanently. And now he's just going to sit around. He doesn't need to push the side. He's actually lagging too. He's, he's they're, spiked they're too much them. They're letting them have A. And look at this suppression there. Enkel thought he was going to pick up the frag there. Didn't need to. His team were there to do it for him. But actually, C is being scrutinized. Not sure how they got away with that. But these random respawns are going to help them back up on that site. Two players make it one now. As uh, they are under some serious fire. There's blood set on the statue. And Phantom with the Ace-23 does take down Godlike. And they're going to bring that C straight back under their control. And they just cannot win these 1v1s. And BZK, if you can't win the 1v1s, you're just not going to win the game. Yeah, it's just it's basic FPS. If you can't win out on a firefight, then you can't really hope to win in the end anyways. And 15-4 yeah, for Hadouken, 14-16, and 5 here for Uncle. And um, you can hear the sound. You know exactly what's happening here. 110 <laughs> to 9 tickets. They don't need to respawn. They're not going to lose a single one. And it looks like they're going to come out of this first half here with a 110 ticket lead. Maybe Hadouken actually will spawn in. I don't know. I think he's not going to spawn. Just be smart about this. But still, I mean... It's very similar we're being, to last. Yeah. We're being very lack with the, with the caster now, but that's because you don't really expect to ever come back from this. I mean, having the ping alone is a, is a major deficit. Um, then you're down 110 tickets. The chance you're coming back from that is basically none. No, it's just there's no way. Yeah, and it's good to see Infuse playing the way they are. Admittedly, you know, they their opponents aren't giving them the biggest challenge. But look at that scoreboard. 16 to 5 for Hadouken, 16 to 5 for Enkel. Everybody really, I was about to say everyone on a positive KD. Then I looked at Pastor Farin, but he was the man who was constantly charging around. He was just applying pressure. Even if he wasn't necessarily killing people, his presence was enough to draw those numbers to those flags. And so he was doing just as good as the others. But I mean, for Infused, as I was saying, they're a team that are prone to choking. It's happened to them in the past. Obviously, this isn't going to be the kind of challenge that they might choke. They've got quite a bit of confidence on their side. And obviously, they have had quite an unstable lineup, lots of changes. Um, but right now, they're looking quite strong. And I'm looking forward to following them uh, through this second cup. Oh. It's nice to see, you know, other teams being, or you know, other teams from other countries coming oh, into the mix. Absolutely brilliant, yeah. I just, I, I don't know. I mean,. I don't know what we're switching map. It's going to be going back to Dawnbreaker. It will. Um, in a second. But I just... I. You can't win with 200 ping, man. You can't win oh, with 100 I'm sure it's been done. Battlefield I don't right doubt now. it. Yeah, but it's just... I, I don't know how big the patch was to fix ping issues, but you can't typically win with 100 ping against 20. I mean... I'm not sure why we're on locker. It, it'll switch back. We do have a second half, of course, on Dawnbreaker. Um, but, I mean, if you were in Berserk shoes... And let's let's just completely forget about the internet issue for a moment. I would suggest that they needed to work primarily. Obviously, let's not let's suggest they can't win this game. But if they were going to come back for the next cup, they wanted to try again. My advice to them would be, quite literally, aim. Because I mean, we've seen games. Admittedly, some of it may be ping, but these guys are not hitting shots that they should. See, do you disagree? <laughs> I see your face as I, I said aim, and you were like, oh, is it really, though? <laughs> I don't I don't think there's anything they can do to come back and, and do better the next cup. I mean, no offense, but you can't kill someone when you have 200 ping. Like, it doesn't matter. I mean, they could probably have, they probably have really good aim, to be honest. You know, back when they have 20, 30 ping, they have, you know, fantastic aim. But if you're sitting there with 200 ping, like, it doesn't matter. You could be playing someone against someone who's half as good as you, but because they get in a second or the two, actually, was it 0. 0.2 seconds advantage on you? To shoot, I mean, they're probably going to kill you. It's it's actually even more than that, I, I feel like. But it's just to me, there's just no way you're going to win that um, mm -hmm. at all. And I, I I wish I could say you know, it's because they're doing this wrong or their strategy wrong. It was just their pings wrong, for me. Yeah, it certainly is a huge factor that we cannot rule out. Uh, it just looks like it's gone down a little bit. I think Godlike was the man on 280, and now he's sat on a a tiny 195. <laughs> so, it's, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's back, it's back. There it is. <laughs> the big 281. And contrast with, oh, look at that. Phantom's right. lagging. Phantom's lagging. He's got 70 ping. They're on the wrong, they're on the wrong sides. They need to swap over. Oh, they'll go for a restart, I'm sure. Yeah, he's he's been sitting at 70 for, I think, a little bit here. He's, he's the laggiest member of the team. I think it's, if, if, like, for instance, if Fnatic grew up against Berserk, I feel like or Fnatic, Epsilon, Dinatos, whatever. I feel like uh, they wouldn't die more than ten times. Like I mean, we we can say Infuse, you know, they're a good team. They're definitely not Fnatic caliber. They're definitely not Epsilon caliber. 
Um, I don't know. Like to me, I don't, there's not much more to say. No, I think you might be uh, spot on with that. We're going to be going into game, I believe. I mean, one thing for them is if if Berserk did play in every cup, which I don't know if they played last one in cut number one, then there actually is a chance they can't get through into the group stage. But then they need to beat two pe two teams, and then they could be into playoffs where they'll have obviously low ping one five five ping playing offline. But that would be amazing, wouldn't it? I mean, we had the Australian team. Um, and I'm going to try Vox. It was Vox Eminor uh, over at Gamescom, and that was really fun to see them. They didn't get as far as they wanted to, <laughs> but they came Sorry. over. I mean, I having a I team laughed. of five Australians come over, they had the kangaroo, inflatable kangaroo on stage, mm -hmm. and I do love to see a real international competition. Uh, and it really is. It, 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 only then, when you have pure international competition, can you hand out that title of, you know, best in world. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's really good to see these teams are showing up. Well, and it's, you know, Europe can enjoy the title while they have it for now because no North Americans team played. But obviously when NA plays, they will just destroy Europe. I mean, and I don't know. I mean, I, in your voice, I'm getting a hint of bias and well, I just can't I mean, work you know, out where you see right now, we have a US flag. Do you see a European <laughs> flag anywhere in this game? <laughs> Okay, well, we know how good your geography <laughs> skills are. Let's leave that out before you make another oh, I, mistake. I've known that for two years now. Okay. Joe made that very, very clear on Let's one of my see. first casts. Let's see where this goes right now. Three to three split, infused up against... Wait, you didn't know that was a South African flag either. I, that was the first thing I said. No, well, shall, we, shall we go through the VOD? I went, South Africa, I think. Is that what you said? Yeah. Really? Okay, kudos, <laughs> kudos, son. Right, moving on away from Joe's... Uh, Joe, excuse me, Jason's geography. Uh, we'll see how this game starts out. Looking good and few, starting as they mean to go on. A and B hold, wiping almost the uh, BZK side. I'm interested in Yepsi. I'm going to keep my eye on him as he may come into contact. Is he going to... Oh, he's going for B. This is out. You thought he could maybe worm his way around towards that A flag. He's going to try and face on B. Squad spawning in on him now. This is kind of BZK's chance. And they're going to try and fail. Not a bullet connecting. Ace and Magnum actually coming in to, to uh, work for the BZK. Oh, sorry, the... Uh, Infused side, and now we see Runek trying to do something. Phantom's doing a bit of work for the BZK side with a team kill. And look at kills. this. This is really, really tough work. They cannot get any closer towards this B site. They're also really down a locked down. And you can see the light. Look, look at this crossfire. I would not want to go anywhere near either of these sites right now. But look who's going to try. Runek on towards these stairs. These stairs can be a bloodbath at times, and they're going to continue to be as Phantom picks up a very easy double for him with the Ace 23 in hand. Enkel, though, on his way towards C. They're just looking to kind of try and lock down all these sites. And Dukan is well aware that he's going to get closed in on, or not, actually, as the case may be as the entire team has spawned over on that A flag. And I think Infuse are actually going to have something to say about that. Well, they're playing with four people right now, Berserk. They have three oh, tickets left to work nightmare. with. And uh, that's game. So uh, congratulations. I think you I think you just proved right that you can do you can do the whole thing yourself. Now, so to get you to the production, and then we're good. That's and then you'll it. be ready for next week. It's going to be exciting to see. That's going to happen. Am I going to have to stick around, I think, next week? Just just to be there. Just, I'm waiting for a colleague. Jay said, Jay said, what did I hit? And then I'll I come would in, like, I'll be like, I would appreciate you just kind of looming for when yeah, I have a big I panic. I don't, I, don't, <laughs> I, I don't know. Let's actually switch back to our beautiful faces here. Sure, let's game, do that. Obviously, that is going to be uh, Infuse taking the win. Yeah. Um, I wish it could be could have been more exciting. I, obviously, I, it's, a, it's a run of 32 games. I found it exciting. It's a run of 32 games, so not really expecting too much, to be honest. Uh, no. Out of, uh, not say out of the teams, but out of, uh, well, the first game. Uh, but we'll be going to the next game in just a few. I'm going to refresh the brackets really quickly just to see if we have any updates across anywhere else. We well, do, I know... Mostly. It's going to be infused up against Meteor Makers. Yep. Elevate... I'll just... You know what? I'll just pop up your screen. Let's just do that. Do that, that. yeah. Show them. So Show more, the world. There's so many more Bracket. buttons to hit when I'm, when I'm not alone. Um, so Berserk up against... No, Berserk, sorry. Infused up against Meteor Makers. Elevate against Alsen. YDK versus Planet Key. Fanatic versus Iconic. Oh, Planet Key, actually. They were the, that was a team that really sh uh, did well at Gamescom. Surprisingly well, didn't they? Kind of... Uh, third, they, fourth place, yeah. Third, fourth, yeah. So yeah. that's impressive. I want to maybe meet up with them later. They're going to be playing up against most likely Fnatic. So that's a game to keep our eyes on. Of course, Animate versus MHSV. Uh, the Gamers Collection versus MNG. They're going to be happy if... And by happy, I mean uh, some interesting... We'll, 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 we'll talk about it if we get there. If Gamers Collection do go up against MHSV again in the corners. Uh, Dintos versus Infamous. Of course, Epsilon against Strikes. And I believe the game we're going to will be Dintos versus Infamous in just a few minutes, guys. So we're going to go a quick little break here. And when we come back, we'll be kicking off that game here. And we'll see you guys in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere.